Hello everybody, Interrupts here, welcome back to episode of Counterline. Alright, we got a couple things going on today, it's mid-spring right now, and uh, figured now's about a good time as any to get this, uh, to get this started here. Let's go ahead and get some of our fertilizer here. I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not, but it actually does, which I'm happy about, so there we go. And we need to get some seeds as well, and what we're going to do is going to grab the... Let that warm up for, for a second. And what we'll do is we'll grab this guy and we'll grab our seed tender here. I don't think it's got fertilizer in it at the moment, but we're going to find out. There we go. No, we're good. Okay. Let's go grab some seed from our seed factory down the south side there. Uh, it's got 30,000 liters of seed in it right now, so that should be enough, I think, to get uh, at least get started here. So we'll see how this works out. Just drive through the field here a little bit. It's okay. It's a dually, so shouldn't have any problem with this. Now, the one thing I've noticed about this little section over here is the is the fact that uh, this is a really big. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a really big, not jump, but lip, I guess. On, uh, can we get that? Yeah, it's a really big lip on this. It doesn't seem like much when you're standing here, but when you actually try to do something like this. You can see that uh, it gets a little crazy. So we got uh, 30,000 liters of seed in there. That should be good. So while that's filling up, let's go ahead and just take this over to uh, the field 18, which is where, where the field we want to start out here. And I think we're going to plant some oats, maybe. Something we haven't planted, because we have. Uh, this will be the first time we'll be able to plant some of these. Uh, not the first time, but one of the times where we'll be able to plant some of these ones we haven't planted in a while yet. Uh, so for example... Oats, rye, or triticale, uh, they're all about the same price. They don't change much, looks like. So, so far, Quaker seems to be the highest with oats. They all make straw, if memory serves as well. So, all right, let's get this guy over here. Seeds are still filling up, it looks like, slowly but surely. So as we get this lined up over here, let's come up over here. Looks like there's no snow, a little tiny bit of snow there. 10 degrees outside, I don't know how much snow there would be left if it was 10 degrees outside. Not much, not much. This is the field we had to take those trees out on, uh, if you remember. Uh, not too long ago. Bit of a pain, if you ask me, but hey. This is still filling up. Alright, I guess we'll be done. Uh, we'll come back when this is done there. Alright, just finished up filling up the seeds uh, from this truck, or in the truck, I should say. I'm just going to head over to the field here. Does this actually have a cover on it? Oh, and look at that. The cover actually does work well. Sometimes when you have a cover on some vehicles, for whatever reason, uh, the mod author didn't uh, properly put the cover over or change. Like, because like, if sometimes what will happen is you'll have, have the cover go over and then you'll have seeds on top, which is a big pain. It doesn't look very nice, but this is not too bad. So, All right, now what I'm curious about is how this is going to work together. Now, I may or may not be able just to... Do Put the pipe over the seed, uh, the cedar, and fill up the, the cedar that way. I am not actually sure. We're gonna find out here. Are we gonna be able to do it this way? Maybe. Let's put the pipe over there. Nope, nope, not quite. All right, we'll do it this way then. Apparently the pipe is non-collidable, which is a plus. Now let's hop in back into the case. No. I wasn't sure if we're going to be able to uh, to do it that way. It doesn't appear that way. Let's just... Uh, let's see if I can do this. If I just put the pipe out now like this, is it going to work? No. Okay. I wasn't sure. Just gonna have to do it the other way around then. Now this does seem a bit strange that they have to do it this way, but all right. So we got the auger out, and we're gonna have to do it this way, which is kind of bizarre, like I mentioned, but it is what it is. All right, let's test this out. Is this gonna work? Oh, yeah, here we go. 
It's a very small window, though. There we go. That's holding 30,000 liters of seeds in there, so... That should keep us going for a little while. Excellent. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not. Alright. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Put that away. Let's get ready to get started here. Wait for that to fold up there. There we go. Perfect. And uh, we have Triticale selected right now. Um, but we want oats, I think. Wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, bowl seed radish, grass, oats. There we are. And I think we're just going to start in the middle and see how it goes from there. Unfold the cedar in the back there. Let's get lined up here. Go straight down the center. We'll do a headland after. Mm. No, we're going to have to manually adjust it. If you want to manually adjust, bring up your HUD by pressing Control and what would it be? Delete. I guess Control and Delete on your numpad. And then I'm going to not shift, but rotate the course slightly. Rotate the course like so. Oops. Like so. And then if you drive forward a little bit, you'll see where you're lined up roughly. I want to zero in the offset. And we'll make sure we detect this automatic width. Where am I here? Here we are. And 17.9. Let's verify that cedar is indeed 17.9 meters. Because, yes, that's perfect, actually. All right, let's get lined up here. And, whoops, why is that doing that? Oh, I must have hit the run button there. All right. Oh, that's weird, actually. Why does it do that? Yeah, that's really strange. When I hit the button to lower something with the drive control, it uh, wants to unfold this. That's why I'm like, why is it doing that? Anyways. All right, let's start planting some oats. Nice. So we have our truck over there, just in case. And this fertilizes and seeds at the same time, which is a plus. So it makes our life a lot easier. So if we go over to our information over here, we should see uh, that this is going to be three stages of fertilization. Yep, there you go, perfect. Do a little bit of seeding. This is a bit of rough ground in here, geez. Kind of surprised how rough this is. This is like being in a real tractor doing this. This is nuts. Spring and seeding. Oh, apparently our truck's on. That's fine. We'll leave it on for the time being. Now, theoretically, you could actually have it so course play does, like, goes back to your main seed facility and picks up your seeds. Uh, that is possible. I think uh, with the way this system works, it wouldn't work very well, to be honest with you, because uh, it's such a small little window, and I don't know how, how accurate course play can be. Course play can be because basically, you have to hit it on this little tiny spot right here, and then the other thing has to hit on that exact same spot as well. So, if you're manually seeding and then going to pick up your seeds manually from course play doing that, then that wouldn't be so bad. Um, but with its current system, I don't know. I don't know how well it would work because you really have to like unfold this. And because the system, you do need to unfold the pipe, it seems like, in order to fill up. Uh, I don't know how well it would work with course play in terms of um, refilling itself. That wouldn't be so great. Uh, because I don't know. Well, maybe, I don't know. It might be okay. I haven't tried it, to be honest with you. It might be fine, for all I know. Put in our field. This is like barley. So basically, I could plant barley at the end uh, in, this, in the fall as well. And then have it have it ready for spring, but it's similar to it, but not exactly the same. So, anyways, I believe the harvest or the yield, I should say, is roughly about the same with this as well. So, it uh, we should see some good numbers with this oat oat field here. Oh, the real life oats aren't really great. Um, <laughs> not for not as a cash crop, at least. Uh, this would be a better fill probably as canola, to be honest with you, but I think we already have some canola planted somewhere. This probably would have been a good bean field, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe sunflowers, too. 
We can basically plant everything now, including sugar beets and potato. Well, not sugar beets because we have the Midwest uh, seasons mod, seasons addition attached, which I think is kind of weird, but they, they did that still. But a lot of people are leaving comments about that. They're like, well, actually, in Midwest, you do have some places that grow sugar beets. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't make the mod, but it is what it is, basically. So, anyways, this is one pass here. Well, it's going to take a little bit of time. Got 18 meters wide. So this is about the same width as the um, as the corn planter, actually. So, should be interesting. It's funny. I'm just looking at this field here. It looks like this field's like kind of in a valley. So it kind of goes up high there, and it kind of goes down here, and then it goes back up on the other side. It looks like. So it looks like it's like a goes down in the middle of the field, which is kind of funny, actually. It's like a little valley field. So, <laughs> anyways, I just happened to notice. That. I'm like looking at the sides. I'm like. Is that look like it looks like it dipped right in the middle there? So like you can see just by the the texture the texture right here, you see how it goes dips right there. It's just kind of funny that it uh, it just looks that way. <laughs> just on pass number three here, as you can see, not too bad, making some pretty good progress so far. Uh, we're rocking about 15 kilometers an hour. Um, it's making me think I might need want to upgrade my cedar <laughs> already. And I'm like, hmm, I thought this was gonna be quicker than this. I'm like, it's not that quick. Uh, oh well. Well, we'll have to. We'll use this for maybe a season or two, and then we'll upgrade to the next one. But I totally, in my mind, I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be perfectly fine, no problems." And then I'm looking at this, going, mm, "18 meters isn't as big as I thought it was going to be." Because so the next level up would be the seed master or the seed hawk, basically. And the seed hawk is like what 24 meters, so it's like an extra six meters on this one. So you're really cranking out the, the the hectares in that scenario or the acres in that scenario so well in real life I'm pretty sure you would probably be able to do quite a bit of acres in a day uh, with this guy if you could run it the whole day at least so but it's a pretty cool little combination looks pretty good actually with the case if I do say so myself because I got the red right here the red right there even the seed hawk probably will look alright with this I don't know I just uh, I, don't, I guess I'm just particular to uh, this style of tractor. I'm not a, as big a fan of the big buds. They're okay, they're nice, but I don't know. I just have a particular preference for these ones. So, Also, we, as you can see, we've used 30% seeds and 30% fertilizer already. So, we've done three passes. This will have something we'll have to take into consideration in the future because we may want to uh, we may want to kind of branch out a little bit at some point too. Actually, and also, before I forget about it, let me just do this. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Let's go ahead and get a solar panel or solar collector, sorry. And let's put it over by the main farm here. I'm gonna put it over in this little area over here in this little corner. I'll uh, put it behind, beside the windmill because the windmill is generating a little bit of energy for us. And we'll put this down here. And start a little bit of a, a solar farm in the corner here, make a little bit of extra money. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I just keep forgetting about it. And that'll generate some extra extra money during the uh, during. Well, I guess I should say, make some money, extra money to cover the cost of uh, leasing some of the vehicles and whatnot. I don't know how much we're gonna make in a day from that, but I could do the math. But it'll be okay. At some point, maybe we'll get a wind uh, wind turbine as well. But for now, we'll just stick with those two. So, yeah. Also, because we're using this much seed, I'm thinking I'm. I think this trailer, I don't know for sure, but I believe, I'm not sure if, you, if it's just purchase stuff or you actually have to refill it because it does have this here. I'll have to test it out to see what's what. Um, so if you know, let me know in the comments below, but I think you can just refill it because it has the, because it does have the, uh, the fill amount in there, I think you can just fill it up. And I don't know what AR stands for. Uh, Craft Farms was talking about the other day. He's like, yeah, it's got AR support. AR, and I'm like, I'm not sure what AR is. So if you know what AR is, let me know as well. Alternate reality? No, <laughs> probably not that. But uh, I know that's uh, augmented reality is what they would describe it as. Actually, anyway, it's not alternate, augmented reality. But that's something completely different. Anyways, I was just taking a look, and apparently AR is just like a, it's an AR style. I don't know what that stands for still, but apparently it's an AR style according to American Eagle Modding. And it looks like according to what they were just, I just, I just was reading there, it looks like they also, it's refillable as well. So uh, just a little, as a little reference there. So we could probably check that out um, because I don't think that our Meridian uh, seed tender is going to work very well by itself, unfortunately, because I'll have to keep switching out from one to the other. So if I can have a trailer like that that has both on it, then that'll probably be more advantageous than 
doing what we're doing at this specific time. At least that's my opinion about it. So I'll have to give that a little test. Looks like we're getting close to the edge of this field here, or this side of the field here. We got maybe uh, one, two, three over there, looks like. And then we have to go back to the other side, and we're almost done on that side, so should be pretty good. Anyways, we'll come back once we get some more of this done here. So we're just a bit, a bit about uh, a bit over the halfway mark here, and it looks like we're gonna we're below 40% for both our seeds and our fertilizer. So it may be kind of interesting to see if we actually get this whole field done or not. So I'm kind of curious. So I know that. So there's a little strip over there I'll get at the end there when I do my headlands, but uh, we're pretty close. Uh, it's gonna be close, I think. We may have to refill midway. I'm not sure yet. It's uh, kind of a race against time almost, so to speak. So I'll be kind of curious to see if we actually make this whole do this whole field uh, before before we have to refill. And I think this field was what 10 hectares, something like that. It doesn't seem very big on the map, but when you actually start planting it, it's actually fairly large. So in comparison to some of the other fields, at least what we own, uh, I guess the other big field we own is 33. But I think this one's even bigger than 33. This wouldn't be a bad field for sugar beets, something like that, because it's nice and long. But it would just be way too big for sugar beets or potatoes. Like you'd be there all day, easily, easily. So, anyways, we're almost done this field. I guess we're about, like I said, just over halfway done here. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna let this guy continue working, and like I said, I'll be back when uh, we're almost done here. All right, just finishing up the last little bits here. As you can see, we are just barely, barely gonna make it. Looks like we have about. Uh, 7% fertilizer, 7% seed left. And it may or may not be enough to do this last little strip here. I don't think it will actually. So, so I have this little strip and then I have that and then I'm going to do the headlands and that'll be it. But that's a, uh, <laughs> that's pretty close. That is pretty close indeed. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to keep an eye on that uh, because that is going to be interesting. So theoretically what you could do actually, if you want to mess around with course play as well, you could have course play do the seeding and then you could have another course where it kind of stops and goes to fill up and uh, you could do the manual filling up yourself if you so desire at least uh, I don't know 5% we might, we, may, we might be okay we might be okay I'm not sure yet so seems like we have enough fertilizer though so to do this whole field so this is field number 18 we uh, we almost had enough fertilizer and seed all together. So now I'm a, I have it set up so it just automatically uh, uses it as opposed to if I set up a course by worker or if I hire a worker, it will uh, automatically uh, buy it. So I have it set up so it, it just, it re I have to manually fill it as opposed to buying it. So you can switch it either way. So if you want to get cheeky, you can have it set up so it buys the last little bits of it if you don't want to go back all the way back to the farm. And as you can see, I was just seeing what course plate would do in this field, and this is what it would do apparently. So, just to give me an idea, three percent—that's oh, awfully close. I don't think we're going to make it. What we'll do is we'll get to the edge of the field here, which I think will be how be okay to make, and then I'll grab the uh, the F three fifty there and or four fifty, sorry, and bring it around because I think we're going to need some more seed at the very least. Fertilizer seem to be okay on. Seed, 2%. Yeah, that's awfully close. Awfully, awfully close. Apparently there's a little tiny section that was missed here. Oh my goodness. 2%, 1%. <laughs> oh, well, it's not using it quite up that fast. Quite that fast, but it's pretty fast still. Alright. Let's bring it over here. down to 1% here. Turn this off, fold that up, unfold that, bring the truck around here. We only have 16 16 uh, percent seeds in here, so we don't have a whole lot left in here, so we're gonna have to uh, see how that goes. As you can see, I missed a little tiny bit in the end here. Like I said, I'll do the, I'll do the headlands off camera. All right, let's go out here. Don't drive in that field because that one's ours as well. It's funny. You have to, <laughs> I have to kind of like, like warn myself or remind myself which fields are which. Uh, I don't like driving on fields in general, if uh, if there if there's any kind of crop in it. But sometimes you get uh, you get a little lazy. And you're like, oh, I'll just go over here and drive through this. 
Not usually though. It depends. It depends on what you're doing, so. Alright, so. This truck goes so fast, it's crazy. 132 kilometers an hour in like no time. Alright, here we go. Come around here. And we're going to have to do a little spin around because the pipe goes on that side, yeah. Alright, now we can carry fertilizer in this too, but you can't carry both at the same time, so it really doesn't make my life easier by having this. If I was just fertilizing or just planting with the other planter, the corn planter, it's not a big deal, but with this one, it makes a big difference. Oh, oh, there it is. It's a little tiny little spot. There we go. Nope, oh, that's it. That's all we got. Alright, let's pull this over to our other field over there. Field 21. Away from this guy for the time being. Turn the engine off because apparently I left the engine running last time. <laughs> the whole time I was doing that, I'm like, oh, whatever. Alright, that should be enough to finish this field. Give, that only gave us 10% seed, so... Not a whole lot. Let's unfold this guy here and turn it on and then we'll get the last little bits here done. Almost ready to go. Almost. Apparently I was looking at the wrong number. They gave us 20% seed, sorry. The other number I was talking about was the fertilizer, so apparently I missed that one. Oh well. So I'm going to do headlands at the end, so that's going to be... It's hard to say what uh, what's going to be enough, uh, or how much space you should leave. Really, sometimes, because I'm going to do two headlands uh, to clean up any of the spots I may have missed, uh, which is, well, I guess, not a lot, but enough. It's enough. So there we go. We'll do this strip right here. And then we'll come back around and get the last little strip there, and then that'll be the last of this, I think. All right, just finishing up this last little strip here. There we go. So, finish up the last little strip here, and I think looks like we're gonna have enough for, for both. Four percent on the fertilizer and sixty percent on the seed. So, I think we'll be good. Anyways, folks, all I'll do is I'll finish the rest of this off camera. There's little tiny bits left here and there, and I don't want to show it all to you there. Anyways, my name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Counter Line. I know I did. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Counter Line. I'll catch you guys next time.